Hello and welcome to Crew Motor Match, my name is Greg and today we're going to be taking a look around this Audi A3. It's a 1.4 litre petrol engine, comes with the COD Sport and is also the Sportback variant. It's got a lot of sporty accents like the rear privacy glass, the fixed rear spoiler and also the twin exhaust. You've got a plentiful boot space with a flat loading area, enough space there for your weekly shopping with ease. As we now move on to that front interior, it's very stylish as you would imagine for an Audi. It's got the very comfortable two-tone cloth upholstery seat. They are very sporty looking as well, which is always nice and highly adjustable. The driver is the lucky one that gets to use the multifunctional leather wrapped steering wheel, which does come with all of your voice commands and also multimedia functions. This car is also fitted with cruise control with a speed limiter, which is always handy. Up front, you do have a semi-digital dashboard with the views that you would need for your day-to-day -day driving with the likes of satellite navigation systems and also your fuel gauge. In the centre though, you've got your entertainment, which is the infotainment system and does come with Audi selected drive, which you can seamlessly change the setup of the car to aid the drone style of your choice. If you are a music fan, then not to worry as this car does come with the DAB radio and as you can see here, if that's not your, your music taste, you can connect your phone via the Bluetooth connectivity. This car does come with Bluetooth connectivity as I did previously mention and that does keep you in touch with your family and friends at ease. You've got satellite navigation systems ensuring that you're not lost even on them unknown roads and for ease of viewing of your phone you can adapt the Apple CarPlay and Auto Android Auto. Just slow down you do have these shortcut buttons, one is to minimise that screen just so that you've got a better view of the road up ahead and you've got these shortcuts for that drive select as I did previously mention. Further down then you do have the dual zone climate control and this is a dream as it does save on a lot of arguments between the passenger and the driver as both can be at their preferred temperature. It's also very easy to navigate around itself using the three dials. Just below this you do have the storage compartment with two cup holders and also the controls for that infotainment screen and the storage compartment under the centre armrest. 